Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at working with JSON on Windows. One of the things that happens a lot of times is you, you come across JSON either in a, an API coming down from a feed and it is minified, which means that you can't really tell much about it. JSON's claim to fame is it's human readable, but in this form, as you can see, not so readable. So what can we do? You know, we this is Notepad++, by the way. It's a very good programmer's text editor for Windows. So we could come here and we could, you know, manually start spacing this out to try and make it make sense. But if, if we're going to do that, it's going to take us forever. So there's a couple different plugins that we can get for Notepad++ to help us work with JSON. So if we go to the Plugins directory, Plugins Manager, Show Plugins Manager, under Available, we can scroll down to the J section for JavaScript, unless we overshoot it, and come back here. There is JSON Viewer, JS Lint, and JS Tools. We're not going to look at the Lint for right now, but JS Tools and JSON Viewer will both have the ability to help us. And I'll show you once we select them and hit Install. It'll download, do the install, then ask us to restart Notepad++. let it do that. Now when we're in here, the of the two tools one is somewhat easier to use than the other. If we go to the um, JSON viewer and tell it to format the JSON nothing happens because we haven't selected it. For that one we have to select the text then do JSON viewer then do format JSON and BAM! Now it's in a, a formatted version we can read very easily. So that's really its claim to fame. The downside is, again, you will have to actually go out and select it first. The other tool doesn't make us do that. So if we come back here, we haven't selected anything. We go to JS Tools, go to his JS format. He formats the whole thing, but if you'll notice, in addition to formatting, he now knows how to fold it as well so that we can fold things up and hide you know the the sections the inner sections of a of an area so another thing that this tool both of the tools can do again the same this one will not require js tool doesn't require us to select it whereas json viewer does is the json viewer they're very similar i'm just going to show the one for js tools because it doesn't make us select everything so we json viewer gives us a tree view off to the side over here that we can navigate. Not very useful with a small snip like this, but if we had a large set of, of repeating objects, it would be nice to be able to hide. Let's say they were an array of, of these glossary objects. Now the other thing that we can do, if we're going in the other direction, if we have legible, um, human readable JSON and we need it small and trans easily transmitted, we can minify it. and only the JS tool has the minifier. The other one does not. But in his case, we have two options. We can do JS min to minify it in place or minify it to a new file. And we'll do that one. So now we have the old one plus the new one. And we're back to what looks pretty much like what we started with here. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you with these two tools for today. A couple of websites for you to look at. You know, the gratuitous here's my blog shot but this is a, a post I did on this this same topic very very short and sweet uh, credit where credits due the sample of JSON I pulled from JSON.org here it's this is the place to go if you want to know more about JSON the two projects JSON viewer is here on SourceForge and the JS tools has its own website over here I'll put links in the notes below if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of tutorial, and I'll see you later.